Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new vlog. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. So today's objective is to pretty much fix this guy here. So hopefully you guys remember that I was complaining about my gaming monitor being broken. Well, this is still the case. It's still happening. I'm still getting the black screens. Me and Digital Storm did a whole bunch of tests and trying to figure out what it was. And thank God, and fortunate enough, it was not any internal components within the computer that was the mess up. So that's good, which means that I don't have any serious problems, but it still leaves the possibility of either a new monitor or a new display port. Now hopefully it's a new display port that I need to buy, which means that I just have to buy a cable and that's it. Pretty much the cheapest option, but also the best option. Let's be optimistic and hope to God that it works because I don't want to spend another $500 on a monitor and then find out that it's broken too. So anyways, I'm gonna go to Best Buy. I'm gonna see whether or not they can even let me in the store and uh, help me fix my serious problem here. So this cable here I just need to replace from that monitor into the graphics card and hope to God that it works. Now I also want to say one thing here is that the game and the monitor only do this like at random so it unfortunately and this is the funny part too like listen up digital storm was helping me out and they obviously look at your screen they do like a screen share and it wouldn't happen when they were with me and on the phone call with me and screen sharing with me so i'm hoping that it works so this is pretty much gonna be a trial and error of like 35 freaking minutes maybe even longer so i just want to let you guys know about that right now it's not just a automatic black screen so that's best buy way over there and i already went in their parking lot and it's like every other best buy on the planet they're only doing curbside pickup and appointment check-in so i think honestly the best bet at this point is to just order from amazon i just i give up like i mean i i love the fact that people are being safe but this is excessive like to the point where you can't even go to the store if you can you have to do it by appointment it's just like it's stupid if i feel like i'm getting a haircut for something that i'm literally just gonna go in there for a minute and come back out so uh respect but you know what i think i'm just gonna buy it on amazon it, it's the best place so in other words this video is not gonna be done in a day so guys even if i want to schedule an appointment to go in the Best Buy. The earliest I could do is May 27th. That's tomorrow, which is a Wednesday. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And then, the fact that it would be at two. Like, I don't need 30 minutes. I need one minute, if that. All right, dude, you're kidding me. That's in three days. All right, schedule. You know what? I look forward to seeing you too, now that I thought Amazon was the best place. Okay, guys, so right now, as you guys know, I was trying to get the six foot cable insignia 4K Ultra HD display port cable. So, whether or not that's gonna happen is probably a very low chance of it happening because they are out of stock. Now, I called Best Buy and essentially they told me that they restock supposedly every Friday and Monday. But the problem is they just got sold out. So given that, I can order it and receive it within about five days. And this video will take literally a week and a half just to make. Or I can get the 10-foot cable, which I think I'm just going to do that because I that's what I have right now. I just want to get the 6-foot cable because that's really all I need. I don't even need 6 feet, to be honest. I think with 10 feet, I mean, I don't think there's a, really a difference that a 6-foot cable has and a 10-foot cable has. Maybe there is, but maybe you just can't notice it. So I don't know. I was playing a game. And I'm not gonna lie, it's still as bad as it was before. So now it's just a matter of going to Best Buy and actually determining whether or not it will be okay. Alright, well, let's go. Alright, we at Best Buy, let's go. Safety first though. Alright y'all, I have received the display port. Now, let's go see if it actually works. Because if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be pissed. Here we are. Now let's do the test before with the old DisplayPort cable and then we'll put this bad boy on and see if it even changes anything. Mm, okay, yep, it's still uh, not working. So this is the old one, by the way. Let's see how long it'll actually not work for. Okay, well that's not good. It's just been black screen again. Let's see if it keeps going black. Yep, okay, wow, well, yep. As you can see, it's still broken with the first one. So now let's put on the second one. So guys, here we have the brand new 4K Ultra HD display port that is 10 feet long. To clarify what this is really supposed to do is that apparently this is a refresh rate problem. So as you guys know, my computer can handle pretty much a good amount of stuff that I'm bringing forward to it. So my monitor has a one millisecond 
refresh rate. Right now, it's apparently not getting that. So what this does is it basically, it, it's it's a long story. Display ports are better for gaming rather than HDMI cables, but it doesn't hurt to have an HDMI cable. It, it really doesn't matter. It just, in my opinion, I'd rather have this because if I want to do better gameplay, bam. So this is supposed to help the refresh rate. If it doesn't, then, uh, well, I just bought a, another display port for absolutely no reason. I mean, am I going to return it? Probably. I would hope. Robbie, I hope you listen to what you're just saying right now, because it probably will matter in about five seconds. Let's go ahead and check this out. I don't know if this is going to work, because I, you know, I, it, what happens if it's not that? What happens if it actually is my monitor? Then this video is just gone to kaputs because it's like, oh my god, will this actually work? Let's just go ahead and see if it does, because I'm, I'm, I hope it does. Okay, so new display port is in, and old one is out, and I have the old one here, but before we test the new one out, I want to point out something. Now look at this. Like, there's literally nothing wrong with these, which, you know, it, it sucks, because I don't know what to do. There's literally no bending of these. Like, there's nothing. So, like, I don't know what is going on, bro. And plus, the cable's not even broken. So, I hope this second one works. Alright, guys, here's the moment of truth. So far, so good. So far, still so good. Uh-oh. Nope. That was once. Let me move my mouse to see if it'll do it again. Yep, okay. Well, it's not the display port problem, that's for sure. Yep, it's definitely not the display port problem. Oh my god. Okay, well, this didn't fix it. That sucks. So it really must be the monitor. Okay, guys, there is one last attempt because as you guys may know, my dad has built computers. So he thinks it may be a driver problem, which could be connected to NVIDIA. So pretty much you download it. You don't there's no like manual system where you have to unplug the graphics card and then plug in another one. So so I just found out that there was one that was released today and it's called 446.14 so hopefully this version fixes it we're gonna see this is the last attempt before realizing it is the monitor so you know fingers crossed we're gonna play the same game which is gonna be COD I really don't think you guys understand how much I want this to work because if this is truly a driver problem, then it isn't indeed the display port cable or anything else, which means that I may be able to return it. I think we got it. Here is the truth to the end. Hopefully a reality that is set apart from fake. It's a new driver. Let's hope the new driver works. Please, for the love of God, make sure this works. I hope it does. I think it should. I'm, I'm going to be confident enough to say that I think it will work because it is a new driver. I just, you know, I'm going to be a little pissed off because if it was the driver, then why did it take a month to produce? And, you know, I could have saved money on, a, on the port. So, all right, here we go. This is the last try. Oh, so far, so good. I'm kind of happy with it so far. Nothing is happening. Oh! No way, was it really a driver problem? Are you kidding me? My dad was right. Yo, this is the biggest thing. Whether or not I'm in focus or not, my dad normally, when it comes to computers, is always right. Whether it be like, oh, a CPU problem, or a graphics card problem, or a power problem, or a motherboard problem, he's normally right. And I can tell you this right now. It's working. You guys saw that when I installed the new one, it was not working. Now, it is. So now, whether or not this stays like this is up in the air, but the fact that it is working now, wow. It wasn't a digital storm problem. It was the fact that it was an NVIDIA problem, which is a graphics card problem. So, nothing to do with digital storm. It was just the fact of the company, NVIDIA, just needed to send out an update. So pretty much like if an Apple update was going haywire, it, Apple would need to produce a new update. So now that we got it, I hope everything is fine. Looks to me like it's all fine. Now actually, let's go to Fortnite and see if it happens there. Cause normally Fortnite is, I know it's a bad game, but like normally it will happen way more on Fortnite. So hope to God it works. Okay. So far so good, no black lines. This is really nice. Wow, no way, was it actually a driver problem? This is rather interesting. This is actually really nice, the fact, that, wow. Oh my God, no way, no way. It's working, it's actually working. Like this is phenomenal. So guys, after all that, it appears that indeed it was a driver problem. Now I'm gonna go ahead and look at the patch notes that NVIDIA may have sent out. So maybe there was already an issue about that. So maybe the fact of installing this thing 
you know, wasn't necessary. I mean, it was a matter of just waiting. So here's the thing. There's way too many fixed issues within this update of NVIDIA's so uh, their patch notes, obviously you can go ahead and look at them. I highly recommend going to techspot.com. I'll leave a link in the description if you're really curious as to what the fixed issues were and the known issues. Uh, they have a whole list of them, but supposedly they fixed everything almost. So I'll get back to you guys to see whether or not uh, the driver actually fixed everything. The problem is the monitor. It's been a few hours and I'm not gonna lie. I thought the driver was gonna save the day, but turns out it's not. It really is not. It did a remarkable job for the first like five seconds of actually loading up in the game and then after that it crashed. For instance, if you really want me to show you right now, Call of Duty open and uh, black screen and monitor is on. So, and yep, okay, All right, boy, there's your proof. Okay. So guys, to say the last thing right now, I will let you know in the future, within probably the next few months, of where I sit with this issue. Now, if any of you have solutions to this thing, rather than just saying download the Dead Pixels app or whatever, hit me up. Because at this point, the monitor is dead. I didn't know it could only last a year, but... It did. Alright guys, and that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, uh, hit that subscribe button. Also tell your friends and family to subscribe, because there's a 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm trying to hit by the end of this year, and if I hit it quicker, even better. So, again, hit that subscribe button, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. That's it. I'll see you soon. Peace.